Hi, my name is Kuba Kwarski, and I have a great honor to lead product engineering team at Golem, uh, especially on the day like this, uh, when we released the second version of, of new Golem, uh, which I want to uh, talk to you about. Uh, but mind that this is not a, a well-crafted presentation. Uh, I actually decided to take some time and record it, but this will be like a, a very, very improvised uh, walkthrough. Uh, so I mentioned already, this is big day. This is the day we released the second version of, of, of Golem. And this, this is also uh, the day where, uh, when developers can really start writing application uh, on top of new Golem, uh, because the API, API that we've created uh, is uh, as stable and as reliable as possible at this point. And we're confident that uh, developers would have a, a good experience right now. And uh, basically, uh, if uh, if you know how to build a Docker image and how to run a Docker container, uh, you're good to go to, to run and create applications on, on top of Golem. Uh, so this release is called uh, Alpha 2 because this is the second release. The, the last one was uh, late August. And uh, so I will walk you through the difference between these releases and, and what really happened today and, uh, and later tell you more about this release. Um, so uh, previously we have just like very, very rough version of Python high level API, uh, not really reporting any errors, logging correctly, like basically just working version of, of the of the high level API, very, very rough on the edges. Uh, this time uh, we're releasing much more improved Python high level API, which is called Yapapi. And it contains all the bug fixes and it's logging properly and it's verbose uh, when there are errors. So it's much better for the developer. And at the same time, we're adding JavaScript and TypeScript uh, API to, uh, to to the list of the APIs that, that we support. And this one is still very rough. So we will improve it uh, in the next release. But as it was with the uh, Python API last time, it, uh, it kind of works. Uh, so we have new examples. Previously, it was just uh, a Blender example. So like a very, very simple, uh, short Python file that was like using a, a Blender image and, and rendering basically uh, frames of animation uh, for folks uh, out there. Today, uh, we're not only adding the, the Blender example in JavaScript, but we've also introduced a, a bit more complicated example, which is a Hashcat uh, tool for, for, for cracking uh, passwords. And uh, so before we had just like a quick primer, uh, a quick start tutorial for people <clears throat> to just go through it and basically create a hello world application for Golem. So this time in this release, uh, we're also introducing a tutorial on how to build your own application. I will show you where it is in the documentation a bit later. And uh, yeah, on top of that, this is not yet released, but we're going to release this uh, next week, a tutorial for people how to install their own provider and play around with it and, and, and join a community provider network. Um, in the alpha one, we supported uh, only the Linux and, and Mac operating system for Requester. We've added Windows. Uh, we will stick for, uh, to, to, to Linux when it comes to uh, support for, for providers uh, for some time. And uh, yeah, so uh, you may or not be aware of it, but uh, Golem, New Golem supports many execution environments, uh, supports uh, WASM execution environment, but also 
and uh, uh, VM execution environment, which is like a Docker-like execution environment I was talking, talking about. And uh, when it comes to a payment driver uh, of, of, of New Golem, uh, we support ERC-20 and GNT driver. The big breakthrough in, in this release is we have completely replaced the marketplace module. Previously, it was just a, a server hosted somewhere on Amazon, like a centralized version of the marketplace. Now it's completely decentralized. Uh, the marketplace actually uh, uh, working on every Golem node, and and so it's 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 completely distributed. Uh, okay, why are we? Uh, doing this and why it's very important, it's, it's much more important than, than how we're doing it. Uh, the biggest reason like we're releasing something that is like not 100% ready is we want to get out there. We want to get feedback. And, and with the alpha one, it was mainly, you know, how to put things together and establish a process for us to like release really regularly because we want to uh, release basically every six to eight weeks. And uh, so the Alpha One brought some feedback about the Apapi, but also about uh, all the elements uh, inside of uh, New Golem and, and how they work together. And with uh, Diagnose, some pain, po pain points, and uh, oh man, I can tell you, you know, this, this release went much, much, much more smoother. And uh, so uh, get out there, get feedback, uh, now the alpha two is about people building their own applications, and uh, we want to learn uh, how do they use New Golem? Uh, is documentation helpful? What patterns do they use? Maybe there are like some uh, bad patterns that they're starting to use, or or we created something in a wrong way and we could improve. Like we want to learn how people. Are, are trying to use us and uh, also uh, like what possible features do they need because we want to learn uh, what kind of applications they want to build. And uh, yeah, uh, definitely we were iterating on the previous feedback and I already told you a lot about things that we've improved in a, a Python high level API. And uh, yeah. Uh, this release, uh, we improved a lot. Uh, we have a car careful versioning and release management, and uh, we're doing more quality assurance. And uh, we have a DevNet testnet that's like our isolated testnet of providers, and and it's it's much better hosted and and owned. Uh, so that's a that's a big improvement for us. Uh, so, uh, yeah, the, the Alpha 2 release uh, is today, actually was today, two hours ago. And for the provider release, so us letting people become providers and join community Golem network, we're doing this next week. And uh, we, of course, want to incentivize people. We want to convince them that, uh, you know, it's worth spending time on something that is not quite ready. And so we've invented four things, four inspirational things that, that we hosted on, on Gitcoin uh, for people to, to create on top of Golem. And uh, yeah, on top of that, like we'll be doing surveys like in a, a Alpha One case and, and interviews with developers that created something on top of, on top of Golem. Uh, so yeah, this this feedback is priceless for us. Uh, okay, uh, next steps would of course be to uh, to analyze all this feedback that we get and uh, move to the uh, third release of Alpha. And uh, yeah, that's that's probably the the end of this presentation that I have here. But I wanted to show you something more. Uh, so here's documentation. Uh, you can find it on Handbook Golem Network. And uh, here's the quick primer, uh, a tutorial that 
allows you like really really fast to just try golem and and run something on top of golem and get familiar with it and we made the installation as easy as possible like basically this is the the only thing that you have to do to install uh, golem as a requester and then it's just a mm, few comments and and you can start writing your application and here is a create your own application on top of golem and this tutorial is much more complicated uh, but it gets you through the whole process of, of, of how to do it, how to create your own Docker image, how to convert it to, to Golem format, and how then to use this image uh, and, and write a piece of code in Python to, to interact with Golem and uh, execute comp computation on top of Golem. And uh, yes, so here's a blog post that we've released today. Uh, uh, there is an updated video by Matthias uh, about uh, running for the quick primer tutorial. So it's updated to the newest version. Uh, this blog post will contain the link to, to our Gitcoin bounties, which are here. <gasps> oh, wow. Uh, so actually, uh, uh, it's been two hours since we released and announced bounties, and like we already have some someone who is uh, uh, committed to to contributing and and doing one of these uh, Gitcoin bounties. Uh, so that's super cool. Uh, and we have like a small, uh, very very simple challenges, but also one that is like more complicated, and it involves creating like a front end for the user and the backend that is uh, uh, executing computations on top of Golem. So really creating a user facing application on top of Golem. Uh, let's see how it goes. I'm excited. And uh, one last thing you can actually uh, see on my screen right now. So this is not going to be uh, published and, and publicly available. In this release, probably next release, we will cook something. Uh, but here you have the visualization of the Golem network running. And uh, OK, so the visualization is very, very uh, experimental. Let me see if I can uh, run it again. Uh, and on the right, uh, you can see my uh, my terminals, and I actually have here uh, a requester ready to run. So I will just call my Python code, which will use Golem Network and and render ten frames of an application here. Uh, so you can see I'm receiving proposals, and then I have some agreements and. I'm already sending some tasks to to some of the providers out there, and you can see that they are getting busy. And uh, actually, I'm also running in this network my own provider, uh, which is running here. So this is probably not very readable what is what is happening in this console, but uh, we can run a status uh, and see that I'm uh, I'm running. And uh, uh, hey, I'm earning NGNT already. That's cool. Uh, OK, so I think that wraps this short presentation. And uh, see you next time.